Hello friends, in this tutorial, I will show you how to make an air pumpkin and a ghost flying inside it. So, let's get started. I make a pumpkin out of two orange balloons for modeling size to 160. Tie the edges of each balloon together. You need to make two loops. Please note that both loops must be exactly the same size. Determine the middle of each loop. Scroll one part of the loop. Now connect the two loops together as shown in the video. Mash each part a little so that it will be easier for you to shape the pumpkin later. Now I'm making a stem and leaves from a green balloon for modeling size to 160. I inflated the balloon, almost completely left a three finger tail. I make three loops the size of three fingers each and twist the remaining tail quite a bit as shown in the video. Now I'm tying the stem with the leaves and the pumpkin together. To make a ghost, I use a white modeling balloon, sized to 160. When inflating, I left a small tail the size of 7 fingers. The making principle is very simple. I made one bubble the size of one finger, a loop the size of two fingers, a bubble the size of four fingers, two pinch twists, a bubble the size of four fingers, a loop the size of two fingers, a bubble the size of one finger.
I inflated a 10-inch white balloon with two pumps. I bend it in half, visually, identifying the ghost's head and torso. Please note that I am making a knot at the very end of the balloon. When I split the balloon in half, I twist it about seven times. Then I connect the two parts together. Now the most interesting thing, I will put the ghost inside the pumpkin and make it movable. Look, I have the rest of the white balloon for modeling. I tie it to one end of the pumpkin. Now I twist the white balloon well and then just ties it to the second part of the pumpkin. Under tension, the balloons change their shape and simulate the shape of a pumpkin. I attach the ghost to a twisted white balloon in the place where the to pinch twists are located. The ghost will move inside the pumpkin because it is attached to a twisted balloon. If you twist the ghost a little, it will move much faster. This is a very simple decoration. I am happy to share my ideas and experiences with you.